there used to be a lot of trees, a lot of water, you know, and all that's gone. They diverted our water and they're drying all this out, just like Corcoran area, all dry. Well, now they got water, you know, because the snow came back, but it's the trees and the water that used to be here. I'm 60 now. My mother and her mother, I, uh, they would pick all the wild, wild plants and uh, tree mushrooms, you know, the lepna, ground mushrooms. And they used to pick it right here. This is central California. And my uncles, they only picked right here in central California. There was only 75 people here uh, 40, 50 years ago. And uh, now we have a thousand. This used to be a flooded area. And that's what made it so uh, so rich for us. You know, we had everything, ducks, birds, rabbits, all over here. And now they started drying it out. So they diverted all the water. It used to come from here, come down here, and it used to be flooded, uh, you know, like uh, three miles out all the way around to Stratford. And in here, when the water would come, it would pour out and go to the, some of the houses. And then we knew there was a lot of water. Lepna is a fungus that grows on uh, it, it, uh, like these cottonwoods right here. It grows on these. It can also grow on um, walnut trees. If you can just find that fungus around, then year after year you just go and pick over and over and over. And, and we've been doing that every winter. I've done that every winter until uh, 2019 when all, all the big trees died. That was like the end right there. The tree mushroom, it, it, uh, it helped us out a lot. When there was no meat, that, would, that plant would be it. You could fry that up and it would taste really good, like rabbit meat. All of my life, uh, all of my mother's, all of my, gr her mother, you know, and it, I don't know how far it goes, but that's what every Indian, they just keep passing it down to us. My uncles taught me, so um, that's what I went out and uh, I would bring it back to, to the reservation here and, and give everybody a bag or, or one bag, big full bag to, per family and they just split it up. Uh, now you have to travel past Bakersfield or go into Fresno and try to find new places because in the central, uh, central California, all our trees are gone, the, all the big ones. Every year it's like that now, you, you cannot, you can't find a lot no more. Yeah, right here. And these are the mushrooms that, that we look for, but they're a lot bigger than that there. They get real big. Lepna, uh, it looks like it's an oyster mushroom. Those are decomposer fungi, and uh, uh, among also some of the most aggressive decomposer fungi that uh, exist. They only um, are decomposing the, uh, the dead plant matter, so after the tree has died. Uh, saprotrophs, or decomposer fungi, 
uh, very much depend on moisture content. That's uh, the only way they're really, aside from, you know, availability of food source, which is pretty ubiquitous. That's not really the limiting factor. You know, there's wood everywhere all the time, but generally the limiting uh, ingredient to their growth and proliferation is seasonal moisture. The hydrologic cycle of the Central Valley, you know, the, the way the watersheds have been uh, manipulated, uh, rivers have been dammed, um, other productive uh, watersheds have been diverted into canals and things like this, you know, it obviously is going to impact the, you know, the cycling of water in these environments where they used to, uh, where certain creatures and organisms like fungi uh, would have depended on them for sure. So I'm, if I had to guess, that would be my, my, my first suspicion. It's a part of our way of life, I would say. My dad, growing up, my dad taught me so much about gathering, hunting, you know, um, even when we were little, like I remember about maybe five, six years old, he would take us out maybe um, 10 miles out from the reservation to go start looking for ground mushrooms and tree mushrooms. And we would always get rides and get dropped off back there. And then uh, we would have to walk back. And during that time, well, if he, he would uh, used to hunt with a, um, a slingshot, we would help him carry all that back. It is disappearing, I would say, because this year, actually the past couple of years, now it's come down to one tree out of the entire walnut orchard. You would find one good tree that will continue to make it. And if even if we find it, it's, it's just minimal, small little ones like this. They don't grow too big no more, so you're lucky if you find a good bunch. I'm teaching my kids to do this. I take my kids out there. It's getting harder and harder to find them, but when we do, it's special. My kids love it. It is a part of our culture. It's a part of uh, our life, you know? So if you notice, um, out of this whole orchard, I've searched all these trees. But it would be this tree here, and it usually grows on the opposite side. Somebody comes and knocks them off. This is what they do. Look, because they're not used to, have, um, somebody came and knocked them off. <sighs> and I just remove them. See, they're so crispy, they're old. I'm, earlier I was talking about how I haven't been to this tree in about like a month. So it's been like four weeks. And you see how dry they are? As long as it stays moist and cold, they'll keep growing, but usually the farmers, um, they like to spray these orchards so it doesn't grow. Uh, we got lucky with this one tree and not good. <sighs> but this, this makes me sad. <laughs> but I've searched this whole orchard and if you notice driving up in here, we pass a lot more orchards. I've searched those too. I walk through them and you know, they have no trespassing signs out here and I just carry my tribal ID on me. So, you know, if they ask questions, I'll just let them know what I'm here for. And I'm not here to destroy or steal or anything like that. You know, we're just here to harvest the, the lupna that we need and that's it, you know? So, you know, a lot of people don't like, you know, it's sad we have to resort to trespassing in order to get stuff like this. And it's gotten worse over time, I can say that. And, and now it's barely even growing. But this is um, what we've resort to, is traveling far and hoping for the best. It's like something that I crave every year, you know? And if it disappears, we're not gonna have that no more. After this is gone, how are we gonna get it back?